Oh. oh my god. Oh. No. Oh. 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 No. Hey y'all. 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 Hey Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Narrow Warwick. Yeah. Welcome back to Never Board. I'm your host, George, and my co host here. Alan. Jason. And say, we'll continue our series, Never Board, Naruto Ship It In. We've all seen Naruto, but these boys haven't seen Ship It In, so you're gonna get their gender reaction. I'm sure because I love this show overall. Last time Never Board, Naruto Ship It In, it was so hype. The Kage came in the jump, and Minato come with an epic save. Sasuke coming in to join the battle, declaring to become Hokage. The new signing have been emerged. Guys, what a crazy set of episodes from last week, but it just keeps going for the excitement on this week's episode, Never Board, Naruto Ship It In. So guys, without further ado, here's a reaction to Archer Ship in episodes 375 through 381, no filler. Let's just go to the battlefield. of itself that was on fire. Sakura, may I ask you something? I don't know him well, so I can see it impartially. Sasuke can't be trusted or considered a true comrade. <laughs> Damn. Damn. What are your feelings on the matter, Sakura? Oh. I still love him. Don't worry. It's just that Sasuke has come back to us again. That fact makes me sincerely happy. And I do fully believe him. Denial. Really, bro? Your words may not be lies, but I can already tell that your smile is fake. That's a throwback from way before the beginning of Naruto Shippuden. Damn. Oh, they're Ooh. still fighting. Oh. Ooh. No! of these tricks. I'm over it now. <laughs> no more Genjutsu. 
It looks to me like I can't find anything that will change you. Right now, all I can give you is just death. Then I shall do the same. Now. Shinobi hand to hand oh. combat. Well, now that you're ready, begin. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Boston. Oh. oh my god. Oh. No. Oh. 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 No. Oh my. Oh. oh. Inside. Oh wait, never mind. Obito, your one strong will is still alive today. The only thing the current me can do is protect the current Naruto. You know everyone actually shall eventually just end up like me. Sasuke's a rogue shinobi. Standard operating procedure is to erase him. But I'm not worthy of being Hokage. Damn. I can't even save a friend. And I am going to become the greatest Hokage of them all! I'll never let my comrades die, no matter what happens! Naruto, you never waver. You're stronger than me, and have many things that are solely yours. Oh. This oh. is all I can do right now. And that is, to protect this world, my comrades, and the Obito of the past, by killing. Oh no! The current Obito. No. Kakashi. Oh my god. <coughs> oh.
what? Oh, <sighs> <gasps> he's giving no. I told you I have no intention oh. of fighting a clone. No. They give no resistance. I respect the effort, but it's pointless. <laughs> so, Madara, you too were holding back something. <laughs> what is that? No, he's giving his body. <gasps> Looks like that is of no use to me anymore. Oh. I had wanted to fight Hashirama before I became a Jin Churiki. No. I guess I have no choice. Oh. Oh. No. It's time to make him bring me back with Rene Reaper. Oh. For my rebirth. Oh my God. Are you saying that you saved me, Gramps? <laughs> well, thank you. It's too early to thank me just yet. And besides, I still intend to have you repay your debt to me. Oh my God. It's time to have you repay your debt right now. <laughs> He's being controlled by Madara's chakra. Is that the six paths forbidden Rene Rebirth Jutsu? Oh my god. Ooh. Madara, he must not be allowed to fully return to life. <sighs> Boy. Plans, you're all closer. Go stop the Jutsu of the one atop Ten Tails right now. Okay, got uh, Sasuke! I see. So that's the way it is, huh? Oh my god. Tobirama, right! Shadow Clone Jutsu! I can only make two of them? This is so embarrassing. <laughs> we'll just have to make do with what we have. Predicting that those after Obito won't be in time, they're going to attack me instead. But they must realize that clones aren't enough to stop me. Oh. Oh. Aoda, that's enough. Get going. Yes, Lord Sasuke. Oh, oh wow. No. Oh. Oh. What? Oh my god. You won't always be like this either, right? Don't give up. Damn. Bree, you love her, don't you? Both gonna become Hokage. Oh! Oh! Right. Oh! Oh! Sensei. Oh my god. Obito. <laughs> so. He put a mark on that was you. you. Well, which one? <laughs> what a failure. Oh. But, oh well. Did they succeed? All right, that's Lord Forthokage! He teleported a shadow clone. Had he marked the enemy already? Flying Raijin marking never disappears. I 
didn't teach you that, did I? <laughs> Tao. All the way back then, huh? If you were alive, I would have wanted you to become Hokage. Oh. So why did you... That was anticlimactic. <laughs> so now, all that's left to do is seal the unreborn mother. And this war will be over. What exactly makes you think that the war is over, my fellow traitor? <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, he got it? Oh. No way. No, Dad! Suck it! Go, Gamakichi! Oh. No way. What is going on? Is the Ten Tails changing form again or something? No! That's not what's happening! What the hell? Obito rebelled Madara's manipulation! And he's been weaving the signs necessary to do this right from the beginning! What? What's happening? He's become... Oh! Oh! No! Ten tails! Jinchuriki? Jinchuriki! No way! What's down. going on up there? Have they taken it down? No. You know, do you see it? Yeah. He made him look cool. That guy is the Ten Tails Chichuriki. What the frick? <laughs> what is that? Bro. What's this I feel? It's kind of cool. Chichuriki, huh? This is bad. <laughs> oh. even creepier than he did before. No, I don't think so. Not at all. How can you tell he's a Jinchuriki? I made friends with the other tailed beasts. Earlier, they all gave me some of their chakra so I could totally feel it. I felt the tailed beast's chakra get sucked inside Obito one after another. I saw Nagato do that six paths rework jutsu before. But the signs that this guy was weaving were completely different. Oh. He was performing the jutsu to become a Jinchuriki this whole time! I see. Damn, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, is that its final form? No, it's not. It's difficult to explain, but that isn't it. It seems Tentail was used to create a Jinchuriki before it reached its final form. <laughs> oh! <laughs> His deity gates are still in play. Whoa! Awesome! Nah, I didn't do shit, bruh. Come on. Not quite. What? Oh! Oh my god, bro. Such power. Damn. 
two, three, four. No. Oh. Oh. What is he grabbing at? Grabbing the barrier. The shield? Yeah, the barrier. The barrier. Like. Oh my god. Wow. Whoa. Damn. Oh. Wait. Oh, the claws. No way. The Ford Crimson Raper Mission. Is he stronger than he was when he was gigantic? Or is it just me? Before, it was just throwing its brute strength around. But now, it's apparently learned to focus it. Oh, my God. Everyone, keep your guard up. He's made the Tentails power his own. There's no telling what he might do. He's broken the barrier. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Enough! Obito, stop this now! Hmm. Oh, me. Oh, he's turned into a zombie, bro. Oh, oh. that will be blunt. This guy is stronger than I am. Oh. No offense intended, but it appears to be true. Even if you absorb your remaining clones, you're no match, Elder Brother. Yes, I know. However... Whoa! Though it would be quite fun to watch the Hokage beg for mercy, I simply cannot wait any longer. Obito is now just like the Sage of the Six Pants. I can't let him take the lead before I use my trump card. Huh? Oh! Whoa! Jesus, bro. What happened? So fast. Fourth! Sorry! Scram! This is Lord Second's attack plan. Oh, we put paper bombs oh. on him. What is that gonna do? Brother! Hmm. It's not gonna do anything. Minato, get away now! Lord Second, you sure work fast. Flying right in Jutsu! I suspected that might not be enough to kill me. I created the reanimation jutsu, and its ancillary <laughs> jutsu. Though it's the first time I'm using it on myself. Wait, what? Lord Second Special, Tandem Explosive Tags. And this is how it's done. Each tag summons more tags, resulting in concentrated and focused consecutive explosions. Oh. I think it, with the paper bomb and summons more paper bombs. That's crazy. I don't care if that's the Ten Tails Jean Churiki or whatever. Our Lord Hokage are engaged in battle. Let's join them. Don't be hasty. We need to take all of you. You must not approach him carelessly. It's like, yo, Normie's chill. <laughs> Normie's chill. <laughs> NPCs. <laughs>
certainly can't teleport anything that I myself or my chakra isn't touching directly. Damn. Calm down, my <laughs> The Hokage are reanimations. They intentionally attacked head on, knowing full well they wouldn't die. To assess the enemy's powers. Stop worrying and analyze the battle instead. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Dumbass. Right. But it still takes a little You're school by in front of your dad. And Minto acknowledges him too. That's the crazy. <laughs> I'll go first and create an opening. Damn. At this point, I feel the need to. <sighs> Madara. You're lovely, I'm done waiting. Let's go, Hashirama! Ooh. Ugly ass. <laughs> Ooh. UNC right here. <laughs> Ultimate Ninja Championship. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Third, third installment, <laughs> or like fifty. Oh, oh! What just do? <laughs> what the hell? Oh. I see. Ten Tails hasn't completely synced with its gene shooting yet. Ah. This is our chance to take it down. It's been a while, but time for my Rosin Flash Super Circle Dance Hall Stage Three. Whoa! <laughs> what does that mean? This game. Kamakichi, hello! <laughs> Whoa. Oh! Wait, what? He passed underground, but just his upper body. Uh, oh! Yo. Naruto! Oh, wait, shit. Sasuke. <laughs> wait. Oh. Ah! Damn, you get both the clones. Sasuke. What the hell's going on? You're not the one. <laughs> what? Who will sever the past? I am. Huh? Yo, he's kind of fun. Oh my god. Oh Damn. no. I don't think you can dodge that. Oh, it's over. Huh? What just happened? I really thought we were oh. done for. I simply can't teleport anything that I myself or my chakra isn't touching directly. Oh. Good observation. <laughs> Looks like my kids has accomplished a Sasuke. Yeah. Now then. He's just like a snake. What's the matter? What the? All oh, the steroids. Yeah. Gosh darn, dude. What is that? We have to take him down while he's still unable to use his body pad. Ooh. Oh, he's turning to the Michelin Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Oh. What the? F Were you after your clone just now, Dad? No, I don't think that's what he's going for. Dude. Yeah. Hold on. What just happened? He hit himself with his own attack. His attack missed its target. Seems Obito's consciousness is merely clinging on to the Ten Tail's great power. He barely has any control of it. We'd be dead. <laughs> we can't carelessly approach him. Now I'll get in. The Rosin Flash Super Circle Dance Howl Stage 3. I'll create an opening. Then you two immediately hit him with your strongest combo. Nope. Oh, yeah. Bro, this man's going through. Of course I'm gonna become Hokage. Mean. What is going bro? Oh damn, he's crying, bro, for real. Then I'm not gonna have any time for girls at all. Am I right, Sensei? What the f Yeah! <laughs> 
Shit on. It's about time, Sensei. Oh! oh! He's back. Teleported, teleported out of there. Oh, Aww. Oh. What? Oh. Who did that? It's Toby. Toby Rama. Here, you can have this back. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> no taxi backs. Oh, that's so Don't funny. Worry. I only teleported a club. Oh, damn. damn. I marked him earlier. Was marking nice. That's amazing. You can copy my dad's move. Nice second grade stone face guy. Copy, copy. He had it first. Actually, using my move. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. That is Lord second to you. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro, kid is embarrassing. Yet. <sighs> bro, I want. Suka no. Oh my god. Damn, they go out of it once again. Hey. I don't have much time, but there's something I've got to do now. Oh shit! What style? What golem jutsu? Ah, yes. Oh. Damn. Oh, oh wow. wow. Susan out. Crazy. Now I'm going to take another chunk of you. <laughs> oh. What? Oh. Oh. Jiu Jitsu? Takedown? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! Damn, for these giant creatures, they're so like nimble, bro. That's crazy. Amazing! 
They're on another level. So this is the battle. NPC. <laughs> we just get in their way if we went out there and tried to join in. <laughs> just watching. Hmm. Either fight Mod or fight Obito, right? <laughs> <laughs> In a battle like their witching, we'd be of no use whatsoever. Even a small power can be helpful, depending on how it's used. Shikamaru, we may not be able to help now, but there might come a time when we will be needed. So don't take your eyes off the battlefield, in case such a time arrives. Our power could change the course of this war. We can't afford to relax and let our guard down, even for one second. Yeah, he's right. Shikamaru, you would make a great Hokage. <laughs> the ability to sway people's hearts is practically a requirement for any Kage. Oh. <laughs> like the time back then. Madara! At one time we were friends! We both shared the same dream! The end result will be different this time though. You should try to think for yourself a little more once in a while. Damn. Huh. First, you need to figure out the circumstances of their battle. Also, what's going on down there? Hmm. Not bad. <laughs> oh my well, god. Did he get him? Oh. Damn, bro. Oh, he's on multiple. He blocked it. Huh? He's fast. We can't hit him with ordinary jutsu. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll have to use my Rosin Flash Super Circle Dance Howl Stage 3. I'll create an opening for us all with it. You're a bit of a comedian, aren't you? <laughs> I would normally make fun of all your jutsu names. Except this guy is no joke. I'm a tough. Oh! Oh! Sasuke, Naruto! I'll create an opening. No way! We'll both do it! We'll <laughs> let Dad and the others be the main act! I saw you amassing chakra in your left eye. Hardly a surprise attack. So frustrating. Come on, Forth. Let's go. A clone's flying rising would be too slow. Let's combine and reciprocate our flying rising. Go ahead and put your mark on me as well. Yes, sir. Plus, with these bodies, we can still move after being hit. This time, I'll match your chakra level using my shutting gun. All right, all right. It? I mean, there's no need to turn this whole thing into a competition, you know? <laughs> Wind style! Oh. 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 Oh, it's so hot. Oh, dude. Wait, what? You two are the main act. Distracted by what's in front of you? Now, reciprocal round robin jutsu, flying raging jutsu. Oh, oh, I see. The scorched out Nimbus Tempest. Keep going as planned. Damn. Oh. They switched places by teleporting with the flying raging. Damn, bro. Oh, wow. Hey, not how are Naruto and Sasuke? <laughs> They're both smiling. <laughs> I'd be geeked out too if my shit landed like that. <laughs> smiling? Both of them? Yeah. I want to be. Damn, bro. Oh, what? Right. 
It's so funny. So, did you guys get him? Nope. Nope. We made a direct hit before those black things could protect him. I'm pretty sure he felt that one. Nope. No, he did. Okay. <gasps> to avoid those black transforming spheres and their attacks have no effect on him his offense and defense are so fast he's even more perfect than how i imagine myself in my dreams <laughs> i mean he's just perfect you've got a point it's like he's truly obtained dreamlike power there's something odd what is it you only lost an arm dust should be swirling around in order to restore it by now our reanimated bodies aren't regenerating. <gasps> I now possess the same power that the founder of Shinobi possessed. You can no longer measure me by the standard you're used to. What does he mean, the power of the founder of Shinobi? Listen, Forth. Don't get seriously wounded. Even though you've got a reanimated body, I think he's using a jutsu based on shadow and light styles that nullifies all ninjutsu. Whoa. In short, if he hits your reanimated body, you'll be unable to regenerate. You could even die. Jesus Christ. Also, assume that right arm of yours is permanently gone. Damn. In which case, we'll need to fight him even more carefully. But since ninjutsu won't work on him, this will be tricky. How about physical attacks? Kaiju oh, ensues. Get Rock Lee in there, baby. Sasuke, what is it? You and I are going to have to take the lead on this one. Think you can keep up? Nah, bring in the NPCs, bro. The nah, bro. You gotta oh, get it. Right, then. Guy Sensei I'll in there. Take out my Korma mode and go deeper into Tail Beast State. Hmm. <laughs> Oops. Are you trying to make things even worse? <laughs> You're as goofy as your father. So much so that even he's dumbfounded. Oh, bro. Damn. I thought he said dumb. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, bro. The roasting. Come on, Kuruma. Why are you... Kuruma! What the heck? Come on, lend me some more of your chakra, <laughs> would ya? If you want to enter into perfect tailed beast state, fight in normal mode for now. <laughs> Syrup gun! Huh? Syrup. Oh! <laughs> Neo Boku Toad. What was that, Gamakichi? If you want to make a move, do a diversion or combo. <laughs> Sorry, Naruto. We're rapidly approaching the time limit for the summoning. I just wanted to repay that guy with a little parting shot. <laughs> Thanks for the effort anyway, Gamakichi. Now go rest up, okay? Oh, he's a... Sorry about this. Huh? Oh, like, sticks to it? Is that Obito? I thought what you wanted was to become Hokage. Why are you doing this? You want to know why? Damn. This is my chance. You're going to lecture me now? Bit late for that, Sensei. Damn. Don't bro. you think? <laughs> You're always too late when it matters. Ah. Uh... It seems that Rin and Kakashi are totally surrounded. Sounds like all of the mist guys are going to be joining the on the blackouts. What's Minato Sensei doing? Who? We're pulling the receipts. Hmm. He's not there. It seems that he's on some different mission. He's finding a, like a finding a cat on a tree or some shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Once again, I'm glad my teacher was a Hokage. It made it easy to give up on becoming Hokage. <laughs> Bro. You defeated the Anbu Black Ops assigned to Lord Third, got past the highest level classified barrier, and knew the Nine Tails seal would weaken during childbirth. Are you Madra Uchiha? In the end, it doesn't matter who you are. But why attack the hidden leaf? What would you like to hear? Damn. I could say I did it on a whim, or that I planned it, or that it's for war. Oh, that it's for peace. <laughs> if 
only had realized that man was Obito, I may have been able to stop him. I might have been able to prevent Kushina's death. Damn, bro. I might not have had to make Naruto into Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Nah, that's a good thing. If only I had noticed that he was Obito, perhaps the Shinobi world wouldn't have ended up like this either. Damn, bro. You were my teacher, and yet you didn't realize it was me. That's <laughs> just who you are. Damn. Fundamentally. Receipts, bro. You died a hero, Hokage, but now I'm exposed as a disgrace in front of your son. Damn, bro. A Hokage is a pitiable existence compared to what I am now. Apparently the kid's not a total goofball. He's caught on. Oh? You have no right to make fun of the Hokage when you couldn't even become one. Oh. Naruto, what are Especially not my dad, who actually was Hokage. Oh! Dare you put him down? Oh! Oh shit! That worked. I don't get it. How did that? It's effective. So it is just as I thought. Ninjutsu may not work, but it seems Sage Jutsu does. Sage mode. <laughs> Damn! Just like he did with his dad back in the day, bro. Amazing! Naruto! What's going on? His sage jutsu is working! I do like him after all. He's even mastered the same sage jutsu as Jiraiya Sensei. Damn. Since he's grown into quite a son, Naruto. Ha ha! Damn. It's no wonder that he managed to sweet talk my other half. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, wow. His other half. Minato, you intended for your brat to clean up after your mess, right? That's why you sealed my leftover half inside him. Then don't regret it now. Damn. It's not your fault Kushina died. And making your brat a Jinchuriki wasn't a bad thing either. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right now, he's the one trying to change what this world has become. He's not that newborn baby anymore. In fact, tomorrow is Naruto. <laughs> Listen up, I've got something to tell you. That's tomorrow. It's his birthday. <gasps> get him, get him. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> I can't believe that the Ten Tails Jinchuriki has such a weakness. <laughs> and with the Ten Tails inside me, I can't pass through things either. Oh, we can use Kamui. How frustrating. Damn. <sighs> sage moves will work, you guys! What is this sage power? <laughs> you know, toad attacks. Those are sage jutsu, and they employ nature energy. Come to think of it, when I tried to gauge Ten Tails' power, it was nature energy itself. So maybe you can counter nature energy with nature energy. Damn. I mean, not that I really understand it all. All right. <laughs> Sasuke. Get a frog punch to the face. Sasuke is jealous. <laughs> I want this power. He instantly grasped how to use the flying rising with me, and has even mastered sage power. I feel like I'm fighting alongside elder brother. <laughs> Damn. He should be Okage. <laughs> oh. oh, it clearly worked. But look, he's recovered already and is guarding his back. If we teleport behind him carelessly, we might get erased. I should start preparing for the Tsukuyomi. So let's tidy things up. <laughs> Truly is nothing that's worth saving in this reality. This whole world is already dead. Oh. Oh. This is super bad. One of them, and all at once? Even if we all made an Earth style wallet, it wouldn't work. There's too many of them. Thank you. We need one person to teleport each of those with flying rising. 
The fourth and I can get two, but that leaves two others. It's impossible. Where's Ellen, brother? <laughs> He's just wait a moment. That comrade of yours is acting up. We are all reanimations. There's no need to worry. Keep fighting. <laughs> Do not give up, everyone. I am with you through my clones. We only need to change the trajectories of those spheres. The other Hokage will also take measures and repel them across the ocean. I'll use deep force emergence to launch and guide them towards the ocean. I won't let you. Oh, no. Six guns in raid formation! Oh, it's in a four. It's... Oh my god, bro. And it's even bigger. You're oh, right, six. Wait! Don't tell me that all of us... Wow! Oh. Oh. He's trapped us inside the barrier. I made it so we can't expel the tail beast bombs. All we can do is teleport them outside the barrier using flying Raijin. Lord Forth, can you handle two? Since we aren't able to mark them, I can only take one, but there is one other way. Naruto? We could. You intend to teleport the stock itself outside. You think I'd allow that? You cannot save anyone now. Dad, I don't know if this will work or not, but I've got an idea. So will you give me a fist bump? Oh. Hey, other half. How have you been? <laughs> Would you mind sharing some of your chakra with me? <laughs> you know, to be asked a favor from myself is a bit weird. <laughs> Naruto, face it, Minato's useless. Oh. He wasn't even able to protect your mother. Bro, Bro get the yo. That is so. He's dropping <laughs> some <laughs> your subordinates. Damn. No, your subordinates too. You know what tomorrow is, don't you? It is the anniversary of their deaths. Mm. The day both your parents died. Oh, so it was his birthday. Damn. In this world, it's over when you die. You see? Oh, right. Which means it's also the day I was born. <laughs> was stupid You're after. right, bro. You're... Damn, would you write this shit? <laughs> <laughs> so you see, it's not over. Because I exist in this world! Our Naruto sure has grown very strong. Kushina. Now let's go, Dad! Alright. Ooh, got a recharge. Got juiced. You have look at that like yin and yang, bro. Wow. Thank goodness for the chakra from you two. It's just as I thought. Yeah, well. The two of us used to be one after all. Plus, these two are father and son. Yeah. He's planning to trap us inside this barrier and blow us up along with it. What can we do? The whole conversation. This sounds good to be some Italian. <laughs> Likely on par with the Hokages. With our level of strength, it's impossible for us to smash through it. In which case, nothing's coming to mind, Dad. So what's your plan, Naruto? Just give me some time to focus. Let me explain what Kurama and I came up with. And then you tell me if it'll work or not, okay? Yeah, all right. Go ahead and tell me. Have you had a chance to meet him already, Kushina? Our Naruto's really grown up. I'm sure it's been a long, hard road for you up until now. The real hard part is about to start now, Dad. Oh, man. Oh. It? I noticed it when I was healing everyone. It seems that it had merely shrunk. 
Ten. It's actually bigger and more powerful than before. This isn't just Nine Tails. So then you're thinking about protecting us all from that attack with this chopper, Naruto. Well, Jugo, what is it? Sasuke, this is looking bad. Let's get outside this barrier. Use the snake reverse summoning. That was my plan. I'm going to take you and Naruto with me. I haven't given you two any of my chopper yet. Get over here, will ya? What is your chakra going to accomplish? There's no time! Just hurry! Whoa, I can't believe he shared his chakra with every other shinobi. He's got almost as much chakra as I do. Whoa. Hold on. This has Ninetales chakra mixed in. That won't help you withstand the shockwave of four Tentails tailed beast bombs exploding together. Damn. Be gone. But he's dead. I'm kidding. <laughs> Dude, even the tree got Chris, bro. Holy shit. Surprise, it's the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> the, the enemies won. Great. Dude, this is an Infinity War. Basically. How could... Bro. They're not cooked. I guess this chakra has protected us once again. Not quite. Check it out, you guys. <gasps> Look there. Wait. All of us are outside the barrier. Wait, how did that happen? <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, bro. Oh! Ah. Damn that Naruto. He's managed to master that too? No, nah, I'm not. But this isn't only Naruto's chakra. He moved everyone using the fourth Hokage's flying Raijin Jutsu. Because they're all... Oh. Well done, Lord Fourth. Oh. By my count, this is the second time that you have saved all of Shinobi kind. Keep intact, bro. Keep it tally. <laughs> but I failed. <laughs> More than that. Oh, what happened? Making amends. I think I'm a shocker user. Oh, How that's did you do? Oh, nothing much. Dad just teleported every single person outside the barrier. Everyone? Was that you too? I simply can't teleport anything that I myself or my chakra isn't touching directly. Damn, bro. Uh, you gotta learn that, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta learn that. It's because Combined I chakra. shared Kurama's chakra and my chakra with everyone earlier on. So if Dad and our chakra and everyone were to, uh, well... Were to indirect... That's right. If we were all in indirect contact, it would work. So I connected Dad's chakra with Kurama's and mine. He was using the principle of shadow clones. Even if you split up and disperse your chakra, if you keep even a little bit there without putting it out, when the original body infuses chakra again to regain control, all the individual chakra bits resonate and link together. By joining his chakra with the force, Naruto effectively linked the force to the rest of Damn. his chakra that was residing in everyone else. Is that right, Naruto? Huh? Is that what it was? Never mind. <laughs> Old man second. You sure Old know man's... a lot about my shadow clones. I came up with that jutsu. Oh my, my jutsu. god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's try it. Cause we could do anything if we borrow Nine Tails. I mean Kurama's power. Hey. Right. Then let's all four of us join forces now. All four of us. You treat us like we're human too. What kind of child rearing led to this? <laughs> <laughs> I wish there were more time to talk to the grown-up you. Yeah, me too. But guys don't need to talk. Plus, I already know. Uh, uh. I... I already met Mom's chakra, Dad. What you want to say to me is the same as my talkative mom, right? <laughs> See? I already know. <laughs> Even though we have few options, it feels like we can accomplish anything. 
That's right. This feels just like when I was with Kushina. I feel power welling up inside me! Damn, bro. Come on, let's go! Naruto's got this much chakra. <laughs> He's jealous. Shouting and showing off is all well and good. But don't tell me you've forgotten that nothing other than Sage Jutsu is going to work against this guy. I know you're not an idiot. Damn, what just happened? What is going on? That's right! Uh, oh. Okay, oh. you're a bigger idiot than my elder brother. <laughs> All that chakra that's being wasted on him. <laughs> or perhaps not quite the same feeling. <laughs> You sure surpassed all the previous Hokage, least in stupidity. <laughs> Shut up, stupid Kurama! <laughs> There's no need to worry. <laughs> I'm not worried that I'm an idiot, you know. Not at all. No, not that. Huh? I'm saying that you might be able to go into sage mode while in tailed beast state. No. Listen, you may have forgotten, but it happened during your final battle with pain. That is Nagato. I got so mad at what he was saying that my chakra leaked out, even though you were in sage mode at the time. My power and your sage power actually managed to synchronize. Damn. Hmm. Ah! You say that, but back when I was undergoing sage training, you interfered with Grand Sage's sage jutsu. Remember? That's because I had no interest in sharing space with toads. <laughs> Besides, it really pissed me off that you would rely on sage jutsu when you had my chakra. You're a real stubborn bastard, aren't you? <laughs> no, you're the stubborn one. Anyway, I'm trying to say I'm willing to let you use both my power and sage power. What's stubborn about that, damn it? <laughs> <laughs> you just can't be upfront about your feelings, huh? You bastard! <laughs> You've sure been making fun of me a lot lately! No, it's done out of familiarity. Ah. <laughs> you both have the same me inside. You can give powerful support to your son. Yeah. Of course, I already knew that. Oh shit! Oh, 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 I'll have some jutsu prepared too. I'm absorbing nature energy a lot faster in this state. Damn, bro. He turned into a whole ass frog. That's nuts. Oh. All right. Oh. God. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yo! Oh! Let's go. Naruto, add Sage Jutsu to the Rasengan. Okay. Oh my God. Now we'll advance second. Let's do it. We we'll ward off his attacks with our chakra. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh God. damn, bro. Yo, yo, how do you not feel? Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Oh, it's breaking. Probably like pissed that he can't do anything. This is 
what Naruto is capable of now. <laughs> control over this much chakra. How far will you go? He's mad, bro. He's gonna want to fight him once. There's no harm in taking measures early. Oh, oh what is he? Uh, what's that? Oh. oh, shit. He's launching the infinite Tsukuyomi already. Oh, oh no. What the? Just spit out the tentails? Be careful. This looks bad. What the? Ooh. Ew. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, this plant should chase you blows out. I'll suspend the barrier for now. Oh damn, God, was lit up. <laughs> then we can fight alongside Naruto and the others. <laughs> oh, what the? What the hell? What the? Oh. Oh no! Oh, oh my god! Oh gosh. my gosh! Long ago, before they even had the faintest concept of chakra, people still continuously waged battle against each other. The Divine Tree, which had no involvement in such conflicts, was worshipped by the masses as a sacred pillar. The Divine Tree bore a fruit that was said to be produced only once in a millennium. I don't know what, if any, significance it holds, but legend said that the fruit was never to be touched. But there emerged a princess who took and tasted of that fruit in order to reap the tree's power and win the war that she was fighting. Afterward, she gained the power of a god and was said to have quashed the war all by herself. Her name was Kaguya Otsutsuki. She's the first person to ever have the chakra. Eventually, Kaguya would bear a child who was born with chakra, already dwelling within him. Oh. However, the divine tree came alive and started running amok in order to reclaim its stolen chakra. That is Tente, and the one who stopped it was Kaguya's child. His name was Hagaromo Otsutsuki. He's the forefather who preached the teachings of Chakra and began the sect of Shinobi. The man known as the Sage of the Six Paths. Oh, shit. Oh, how do you know such things? How could you? It is so inscribed on the Uchiha stone tablet. Now, do I need to explain what happened to those who tasted the forbidden fruit for the purpose of ending conflict? That's right. Nothing changed. In fact, subsequent wars became even more gruesome. Upon learning this, I fell into despair. 
There are no such things as true dreams in this world, Hashirama. Damn. From the time people tasted of the fruit, humans have been cursed and destined to hate each other even more. In which case I would rather. Relying on the power of the divine tree for your great genjutsu. You simply cannot see it. What's even further ahead? Dreams of the far future. Damn. <laughs> Is this what you meant by dreams of the far future? Yes. Although... <laughs> oh no. Naruto, no! Forest <laughs> Man, severing wind! Damn. Oh! Damn it, there are too many! I might be able to sense Naruto, but it's useless! Wait, Lord Forth, can you teleport right to Naruto? I can't. That last flying Raijin and these vines are depleted by chakra. Oh no. No, let go. Oh. 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 Cramps. Let's go. Oh my god. I'm sorry that it took so long. Damn. Sorry. You're here. Good. Let's teleport away. Of course, all the NPC characters died. <laughs> <don't laughs> Some down. of them. But most of them were kind of. Damn. Oh. Oh, no. you meant by dreams of the far future yes although there's one thing that's all what do you mean take a look oh the fruit when this divine the divine trees bud finally blooms the moon will reflect <gasps> by the flower oh. center and the infinite sukuyomi will be fully activated and i will be the one to accomplish it we're doomed. Damn. This is crazy. Sakura! Sakura, are you all right? Man, that was one close call. Oh, his blade changed oh, colors. Oh. Well, no, he just took the bandages off. Oh, I thought it was like... Is it all over yet? Damn. Damn, all the NPC characters? Bro. Now, be still. You've all endured plenty already. Damn. Hey, y'all, we're back. From reacting to our shipping episodes 375 through 381 skipping all the filler guys if you thought last week's episode was crazy it just got even crazier for this week's episode i don't even care about you know what you guys' first words impressions are we're just gonna go right in because bro the episode starts off crazy we got to see this bittersweet well, probably one of the most epic fights in this series up to date kakashi versus obito <laughs> guys let's kind of start off this set by talking about it honestly guys i didn't think we we're gonna get just blessed with this glorious animation when we first seen that them homies were you know ninja mma fighters right they were throwing all the hands all the tricks let's just talk about that battle first before anything else guys let me know your thoughts what was your thoughts on that epic battle as well as them mixing those sort of flashbacks and flash forwards in there as well i thought it was beautifully choreographed but give me your thoughts guys who wants to go first I think at first I thought it was like a really solid fight, you know. Like I liked how it kept going back and forth between the past and the present, mm -hmm. and it was just animated very well. And I, I I just thought the fighting fighting animation was so solid too. So yeah, I really enjoyed that fight. Probably one of the best fights I've seen in Naruto so far. So 
No. Yeah, really good. Yeah, man. Honestly, like you saw from react, you're all geeked and giddy about mm-hmm. it, Jason, bro. Let me come on, man. Tell me your stuff, bro. Dude, it was it was nuts to see. I mean, like uh, kind of like what Alan mentioned, the way they were able to kind of combine it with some of their trainings from the past, yeah, and be able to use even some of the same moves as what they did in the past. Mm-hmm. Like it was really cool how they combined it together, and it kind of seemed like it was also again due to because of the way it. Well, it at the beginning like of it, the fight, you know, it's funny because actually, I don't know if you noticed this, but in the last week's episode, when Obito forcefully the, charged yeah. himself in there, he looked into Kakashi's eye to trigger a Genjutsu. Right. Because they were showing a Genjutsu. In the beginning, right. sort of that fight, it looked like they killed each other, but really they released the Genjutsu. After yeah. that, though, it was straight up all ninjutsu, all hands. Yeah. yeah. No illusions there because yeah. that boy got stabbed in the chest. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, it was cool to see, man. Overall, I would say one of the top fights i've seen so far so yeah i mean for me i love it not just because you know the nostalgic aspects of it mm. but you kind of got to see you know obito uchiha fire it wasn't Madara or anything like that it yep. was obito uchiha going hands against his former comrade and it's crazy because the last episode they were talking about like you know come and join our rock like no this is my resolve and to cement my resolve the only way i can do this is by you know the only thing I offer you is death, bro. Mm. That's the only way, because I have to protect the message and the stuff you used to stand for and carry that carry on in Naruto. That I'm gonna kill you right now. I have to <laughs> cut you off, bro. And it's crazy because they were bringing all the coolest tricks to do this, right? Because yeah. it, it was started off beautifully with like them fighting off hand to hand. Kakashi brings the kunai. You see Obito use that chain from before to connect the fan to sort of block it. And I was like, bro, this this <laughs> he can literally use anything as a weapon. And I did not think that'd be something so cool. You see them also like you know. Uh, when you know oh one of my favorite bits right obito ends up using kakashi's hand to form the fire style jutsu to that use was, against it really cool, yeah, yeah it's so sick slick movements like that but i'm just gonna borrow this for you real quick <laughs> does that shit right him using his arms it's like he had rods coming out of his mm. arms those you know those chakra rods that pain has remember he has the right yeah. hand so he can summon those rods he was using that to fight off with kakashi as well bro i thought that was sick but what i thought it was super sick was that final sequence towards the end you know, Obito's grabbing the kunai after, you know, Kakashi puts his mud wall off. You see him throw something, a smoke appears, and you, oh, we think it's Obito coming out of the smoke. It's just a little, like, thing, like, um, a kunai with, like, a yeah. little, with piece of cloth, like a balloon thing. Which isn't the first time we see that. I think that's a throwback to when, uh, uh, Shikamaru fought Tamari during the tuning exams, that final fight. Remember how he extended his shadow by using that same thing, a mm-hmm. little balloon with the kunai to help extend his shadow Set, to get yeah. Tamari? I thought that was a thing. I think that's a reference that I'm not sure, but I thought it was a cool callback if it was, right? But then just when you thought Obito got the better room, Kakashi pulls a lightning clone. Mm-hmm. Obito thinks it's the real one, ends up getting shocked and getting freaking kicked up in the face. <laughs> Super sick. Oh my god, I, amazing stuff, right? But finally, really comes down to when they both finally clasp with each other. They're seeing Kakashi cementing his resolve, putting a you know a lightning enhanced Chidori, mm. no no a Chidori enhanced ku, a kunai knife through Obito's chest, right? To finally cement the resolve, and I was like, bro, what a crazy way to end the fight. Kakashi wasn't holding back because mm. last week's episode, Obito was like, oh, you had plenty of chances to kill me. And Obito <laughs> was like, oh, and Kakashi, said, oh, I did have plenty of chances. Now I'm definitely gonna kill you, bro. <laughs> But oh it's crazy gosh. because right after that, we thought Obito dies. He ends up teleporting out and and actually Madara starts to trigger his plan to make Obito resurrect him. Craziness, guys, because y'all, we're all going nuts with that. Let me know your thoughts on Madara trying to pull that sneaky thing on. Because as soon as you saw Obito come out, he's like, oh, I have no use for him now. He, he got all his jazz. It, it was just so cold, like how he just literally doesn't care about him. He thought like he's just like a backup plan. That's it. That's literally what he said. And they and they used the flashback of when Obito was still, you know, mm-hmm. right when he just recovered it. And yeah. Madara was like, no, you're, I'm gonna make you, you know, pay me back for what I did. Yeah, time to pay me back. <laughs> time yeah. to pay the piper, right? And yeah, you're right, bro. Madara was so cold with it, bro. Damn, bro. Any more thoughts, dude? I mean, is I mean, it's all obviously sad that like he's also being manipulated just to be used and used by Madara. Yeah. Like I don't know, even know if Obito fully believes it himself that you know i think he's been so brainwashed by madara i mean dude like i mean with all the stuff he went through though but then it, he just needed that, that litmus to like kick it you know right at least the, at least for madara to give a reason because remember at the beginning of the episodes obito mentions like look you're in a delicate position madara because you need to be to get to t- ten toes trip, you need to be alive yeah. and i'm the one that can bring you back right now but once madara saw like oh you won't die anyway shit let me just trigger this let me take it now yeah, yeah and it's funny because all the Kage and all the, you know, our team, you know, the uh, Shinobi forces recognize it and they start trying to, like, attack sideways, right? Jason, what were your thoughts on, you know, Madara trying to, you know, pull the gambit on Obito like that? I mean, 
that t- it sounds like a typical Madara move right there. <laughs> he's like oh yeah i actually don't care i'm just gonna take over now um and i think i honestly i give more props to obito for already having a plan in mind to be like nah i'm not gonna just easily give it to you like that yeah and because and you know, the whole time though the episode was so much suspense and you see Madara is like cracks in his face becoming whole again You're yeah like, fuck bro like is this actually happening yeah, yeah, yeah. and it got to the point too where like sasuke is trying to like fire off attacks he used a susano so, uh, Matarasu yeah. arrow and by default the chakra rods are blocking those yeah. two so mm-hmm. we're like bro this there's no way to get out of it but finally though minato Oh my god, guys, let's talk about it. Minato ha- comes in to teleport to finish the job, yeah. like the goat he is, right? But the saddest part is he he kills first and then realizes later that it was Obito. Yeah. Just that moment, guys, let's talk about what were your thoughts on just seeing that moment where, you know, Ma- you know Minato comes in, mercs, mercs the enemy and realizes that enemy was my former student. Because you see it in his eyes, him realizing, like, he's like, oh my god, Obito, like, even when he's past he's like, I wanted you to become Hokage. It was, yeah, it was just sad to see that, you know, he had a lot of regret that he... He realized that the guy that he fought 16 years ago um, was his student. Yeah, and he was the reason why he died, his wife died, and Naruto became a Jinchurik. So he probably had a lot of like, yeah, a lot of regret when he saw that. And I, and I think that moment sets a lot of the emotional stuff that we've witnessed later. But Jason, bro, just that moment. Yeah, man. I, I think uh, when Minuto found out, you could kind of tell he was not... He felt really, really guilty, if anything. he yeah. was Because he was very remorseful. He was like, man, I wish I could have stopped him at the time if I knew it was him. Yeah. Like, I had so many chances. I knew if... And he didn't even know it. He fought him so many times, too. And he never knew it was his right. own student. Yeah. So, it's kind of like a backstabbing also. Because, like, he's kind of the reason why... He, he, him and his wife died, all that, everything, right? But at the same time, it kind of brought a blessing in Naruto getting the Nine Tails. So, I mean, I don't know. No, I mean, you did bring it to a good point. And I thought that was, it's kind of crazy because you, that's interesting you brought it up because, you know, th- okay, before we can get to Obito becoming the Jinchuriki and stuff, it's yeah. like, Minuto didn't come at this as like, oh, dude, I'm, gonna, I'm coming in for revenge. He's like, oh my God, like, that's my student. It's crazy. Yeah. And I thought that shows like, and I, a, an interesting emotional side because you know Minato during the war you know he's a demon he was able to like teleport behind people kill them before they even can blink right mm-hmm. but it's that same dude that cold heart killer that has to confront like same thing that Kakashi is going through right now right yeah. seeing Obito Minato's going through that same thing bro and what's crazy is that like we kind of they think that all hammers away once Obito becomes a Jachuriki but let's talk about it guys because when we thought Madara had the better of Obito like you mentioned Jason Obito was preparing the whole time and only Naruto was able to catch it because he recognized the hand sign instead of becoming a sacrifice for Madara, obito switches the gambit right he pulls a fast one and becomes the 10 tells in cherokee himself guys first off art what did you guys even think that was going to even possibly happen considering what happened with water was planning and then obito pulling that switch off give me your thoughts on seeing obito becoming the 10 tells in cherokee let's go who wants to go first there we go, we go. uh dude it was honestly like i'd when I saw it, I didn't expect it at all because Obito was at the brink of death at this point. Like he, he got he's gotten stabbed with the Chidori uh, blade, right? Yeah, yeah. And there was no he and I mean even when he said like, oh, uh, right when they were fighting, he said. Uh, I haven't given up on the war, and he and he teleported himself out, right? Oh, you know, he said he's like, what makes you think I give up on, on the, the war? On the on war. war, like you think this is over? Also, my fellow traitor talking to Sasuke like that. Right. I, thought, I was like, bro, like he's like, bro, I'm not out yet, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, honestly, when he did that, what I really thought was gonna happen was he was getting he was getting his uh body ready to give to Madara. Oh, to do, that's what I was think thinking. He was willingly sacrificing. He was like, you know what? I'm about to die. I might as well continue it and let modern do his thing damn so yeah. that's what i was thinking but then when he when they you know when what he what was what was the thing he was about to do oh what is it called the Shit. rene rebirth yeah the, the, when he was about to do the rene rebirth i was like oh damn like so this is about to happen but then you know we saw what happened he actually became the jin Cherokee, took in the ten tails man and just came became oh my gosh craziness let's talk about it what were your guys' thoughts on seeing you know obito become the ten toes that design at least that first yeah, i mean I, I thought it was pretty cool it's like new yeah. fit um <laughs> the the black the black with the like the gray silver I yeah, thought, yeah. I thought it was a good contrast plus like um he has like the the horn the like the spikes horn, coming the spikes out. from the back yeah no that's pretty cool. yeah and it's actually 10 spikes too it's yeah, 10 uh, yeah spikes. i counted it yeah, yeah it's it 10, 10 spikes yeah. too and it's like he also he also has symbols on his back that 
we've seen, you know, the silhouettes of the Sage of Six Pats had the same symbol too. And they kept saying like, Obito and Madara were saying like, bro, I'm, I've got the power of the gods. Like I'm like the same thing as the Sage of Six Pats right now. So I thought that was crazy. He also has like this, the staff. That's on his mm, second transformation. That's second, yeah. Yeah, but before we get oh, to the okay. second one, right? Let's talk about during his first day because during this whole time, Obito comes out as just silent, quiet, serial killer deadly vibe. We're almost reminiscent of Gara, but less sort of screaming for, you know, sand and blood and more so just silently killing and dude what's crazy is that like he was first lord hashirama first okage said like i'm gonna be blunt guys this homie's way stronger than me <laughs> and for the guy that's weird as god as shinobi to be like okay this homie is actually stronger than me and they get blitzed on without getting realized yeah because oh this isn't remember an un, sort of an obito that's fighting to control the ten tails still he's kind of like mindless he doesn't even realize who's in front of him at this point which is one thought i was super crazy let's talk about that mindset of first stage ten tails obito give me your thoughts and seeing that interaction guys and just you know seeing that you know pre-control you know pre i guess ten tails mastered obito kind of work on everyone else right because he was trying to like kill everyone throwing these balls out he couldn't even control his powers properly give mm. me your thoughts guys just seeing that first iteration of the ten tails in Cherokee. I mean, I thought like he was kind of like a zombie because he was just saying like, oh, Beto, yeah. try it. Like, yeah, he was like, he was like mindless. He was just super powerful, but he didn't really have like, I don't think he had like a goal. He was just using his powers, at, you know, over here, there, you know, so. No, I didn't think he was even aware of who he is at this point. Cause, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, even towards the end of that trans, you know, before he transferred. But Jason, what about you? Um, So, honest, I, it, the way it, they showed it, it, to me, it seems like he wasn't able to even control the, 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 the beast he couldn't yeah. control it he was he kind of lost and you know since he was already injured and everything his mind he couldn't even control it and whenever they showed that like that thing where his body was getting pulled yeah with the picture with the picture right i, I think it was kind of interesting to see how the way he got it back was by seeing kakashi minato uh reen and all of them and like that was the i guess the hope for him to that's interesting that you brought that up because this is remember we see sasuke bring up that same picture to cut naruto right which I yeah was interesting right? yeah, yeah, yeah but for obito to gain control in his consciousness back you it's interesting that he thought about his, his friends his yeah, sensei the people that he's love. also trying to kill or well, not rain 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 but you know at least erase and, and everything yeah, essentially, yeah, 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 right? yeah that's a interesting point you brought up and then when he does do that he's he able to upgraded. get yeah, he, he gets control, a, yeah. yeah he gets a staff he gets a full-on cloak Let's talk about it, guys. And Jason, I want to explain more about that idea. But Alan, let's talk about version two Obito, version two Jinchuriki, also known um, in in uh, Japanese. The Ten Tails is called Jubi, like uh, QB is the Nine Tails, and Jubi is what they call the Ten Tails. So when Obito gets to Jinchuriki, they call him Jubito. Mm. But yeah, but we don't need to call him that if you guys don't want to. Let's just call him Ten, ten Tails, tails yeah. Obito. But let's call him you know Advanced Ten Tails Obito. So what were your thoughts on seeing him? You know get himself back rebuild himself essentially while losing control using his frame of reference like you were mentioning jason but then coming up the other side hella upgrade i mean yeah like we see his new his new staff and then he gets the I don't black, know what's the word. The, what is? The uh, though, let's just call them black spheres. But those black spheres apparently have, according to Lord Hush, uh, the third Okage, he was like, "Yo, this is even better than Keke Genkai and Keke Tota. Tota yeah. It's more than four natures combining with each other. Right? Crazy. Yeah. So it, I think it's supposed to resemble like the sage. Yeah. Like, you see, like, like here and there, we see like silhouettes of him. Yeah. Yeah. Sage six paths. I mean, so. he's got the like cool looking staff, and bro, he's got these cool like orbs flying around yeah. too, bro, looking like Zenyatta from Overwatch. Like, I was like, bro, this is cool as shit, bro. It kind of makes, and I loved how like they described this sort of like this godlike ability. Even the Hokage is like Toby Rama, they're all like, oh my god, like hmm. he can hurt us. Like we're not even re our reanimations are getting hurt now. Like right. he's this is like power of a god style, and I like how it's being compared to Sage Six Paths is god stuff. Just give me your thoughts on seeing, you know, like how they're comparing to Obito now, bro. Because apparently he's in his own new class of stuff. Despite how crazy Naruto's already gotten, guys, they made it even crazier. Give me your <laughs> thoughts, guys. You're seeing this new level of enemy right now, bro. Because this is crazy. Jason, you want to take? Um, yeah. So, dude, the way he was able to, you know, use those abilities, and it seemed like, you know, they kind of made a uh, mention about it being similar to the particle style. Yeah. Um, I, I was like, okay, yeah, it, it kind of is like that because he can kind of form it into, not form it, but it, 
Um, he actually says it's even better than the particle, the particle style. style. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he's able to use it offensively and defensively. And even, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he can change its shape too. Remember, right, guys, right. we talked about chakra being able to change shape. The Rasengan, the Rasen Shuriken is the highest change of chakra nature. And then you have someone like Sasuke who's able to shape his chidor to like a blade, right. changing the form. This is all of that together, right? Right, Because right. like you said, it's offensive and defensive. Yeah. Like it's able to protect him, and at the same time, it also is playing an uh, offensive uh, role too. And yeah. I think it kind of is like the unstoppable, you know, I guess you could call it Jutsu. Is it Jutsu? I mean, it, it looks like it's something. Well, it, I would say that it has yeah, to be right? Jutsu. It's an Injutsu, I yeah. guess. Or something more, yeah. And, I mean, I mean, we have, I don't know if we're going to talk about this part, but, like, it's the, the crazy thing is, well, for his body, the only thing that he can take damage from is Sage Mode. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's like the same thing that he's made of or what whatever his uh because he has like sage mode yeah right? so sort of so the ten tails is essentially like the pieces of all you know the obviously it's yeah, all yeah, the yeah. Ten bit tail pieces combined but when naruto sensed the ten tails when it was Nature formed energy, when it was yeah. you know shit emoji ten tails right yeah. he sensed it it was like yo like nature this energy. is all this just feels like nature energy because i can't even comprehend it even the night says like no bro if you go into saying all you're going to sense is it's just how uncomprehensible how uncomparable it is but naruto uses like well it's the same principle of fighting fire with fire yeah i fight you with what you are and it's crazy because by enhancing using sage mode something that was so far back that was effective against you know not even that effective against the renegon but so much boosting up your own technique now being the one thing that could beat the, yeah. the six you know yeah. six pads techniques right but let's talk about that a little bit more because even okay before let's yeah let's just try to talk about it who would have thought that the a sneaky thing like sage mode would be able to come back with a vengeance once again because the last time we saw him really use it was yo he was trying to use it against madara when they first madara first dropped and landed mm. but that was because he couldn't go into you know his the nine tail state yeah. the last time it was i think super effective was what, what again Against, you know the third uh, Ka, I'm sorry the third right Kage and then mm -hmm. when he used it to sense the chakra rods again oh and then he freed Son Goku the four tails right right but besides that it's like okay like it was there but then like how did how was what was your thoughts on being implemented here because you mentioned a little bit earlier Alan what were your thoughts on being sage will bring brought back again well dry dry sensei came in clutch again you know? <laughs> yeah he, like I didn't realize that sage mode was so important like he uses it here and there but because like it kind of gets overshadowed by the nine tails yeah so it was kind of good like great to see that it got incorporated with the nine tails and mm -hmm. got brought back again and it's kind of funny it shows like a flashback of how um when uh when naruto was at um, mount miyaboku, miyaboku yeah. right yeah, yeah. um the nine tails actually stopped him from incorporating more yeah. sage um, sharing sage chakra yeah because remember jiraiya uses mom pod toad to help gather sage jutsu and they originally wanted to remember naruto wasn't able to you know his whole thing is like how can i get sage chakra while i need to move and that's mm. why mom and pod were there right but then remember the nine tails rejected him because now he said he didn't want to share space with him that's why naruto used the shadow clone method to get more sage chakra yeah and that's crazy that's good that's a good thing you brought that up now because once now that you know karama's cooperating that should change the playing field mm -hmm. high key a little bit now but before we get to talk about you know sort of the benefits of sage well, let's talk about right before naruto implements it right you know you know gamakichi spitting you know the, the his nature syrup right and that's when they sort of figure out but in between that I mentioned earlier in our discussion how, you know, Minato has had that reckoning with Obito, right? Let's talk about Obito literally talk so much shit to Minato, mm -hmm. bro. I never thought my man could get annihilated like that. I mean, Minato was the go, but I didn't think words could hurt. But Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> who would have thought that Obito like, you're always late, you know? Like, the dude who's the fastest Shinobi ever considered always late. Give me your thoughts on just Obito letting M Minato have that shit. Guys. I mean, he kind of does have a point. He wasn't there when um, <laughs> when Kakashi and Obito and Rin were there, like, you know, getting attacked. And Obito mm -hmm. died, Yeah. right? Gave his sharing gun to Kakashi. Minato wasn't there. There was the other time, you know, when Ren and Kakashi were about to get killed. Yeah. And M Minato wasn't there either. So he kind of does have a point, even though we regard Minato as like the goat. He does have a point. Like, where was he? It, but it's sad to see. You know, he had other things he had to do too. Damn son, Jason. I mean, Alan's not wrong. Uh, he that is exactly what happened, and Minato wasn't there for the big moments that he should have been there for. But I mean, at the same time, I think what Obito is trying to do is just trying to get in his head, yeah. try to make him feel some some type of way, and I guess weaken him mentally so that he could you know do his thing. But yeah. he's not wrong. He you know Minato definitely missed out on a lot of moments, and 
he also at the same i mean this is a side note but he is literally the youngest hokage to die so yeah he, youngest to become hokage okay, and, and to, the, die. to die yeah. yeah so it's like how old was he when he was hokage? they said he was like in his 20s like early 20s like 21 or something get the hell out yeah, of yeah. yeah he's 21 dude. yeah dude i mean well, well hey i showed you guys the minato manga you know he that dude he he was already kind of a demon back then too right so yeah. even then it's like so it, how old is kakashi right now he's probably he's got to be in his 30s right yeah he's in his 30s okay yeah yeah dude i thought minato was like Remember, he's dead, and he yeah. died super young, too. I didn't, so. Oh, I didn't realize he died that young. Though. Yeah, dude, he died relatively young. I'll get the exact age, but I know he was in his early 20s. Mm -hmm. Because, like, he was already, like, super, like, considered super top tier already when he was early teens. Like, later teens, too. So I was like, damn, son. Like, that, <laughs> that's crazy. But yeah, bro, you, I, Jason, I think he made a good point because Minato was starting to fall into despair until Naruto and his other half, Kurama, had to and come they, and yeah. be like, bro, like, it's okay, like, it's not your fault. It's I mean, not, yeah. I mean, who would have planned that, like, your student to come back from the grave to, like, wreck a village, you know? Like, right, you know, right. I don't think anyone can plan for that, you know what I mean? I can, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, it's weird because I, I understand Obito and I understand Minato and I sympathize for Obito because he probably, part of the thing is, yeah, I, I agree, Jason, like, yeah, it's a mental thing to take him down, but like you said, there's some truth to it and that's yeah gotta hurt a yeah, lot yeah and that and only it only if it's truthful that means it means something to the person yeah. who's saying it yeah. too so super crazy to see that but yeah but you know just when you know Min, you know minto was getting shit on by those words naruto shits on obito with a rasangan <laughs> a nature hand for rasangan we did talk about it but what were your thoughts on him in incorporating the sage youtube into his tail beast mode guys getting that shit upgraded once again bro who would have thought that like i said before sage youtube coming back but not just just by its plain state being combined with naruto's tail beast mode give me your thoughts guys you want to go yeah. um dude yeah no nah, i was it was sick to see man like because you know they've naruto learns a lot of new was learning so many different moves mm -hmm. and you think like oh yeah this one it'll be good for these kind of fights this one will be good for that kind of fight but then you know you got like the nine tails which will be good for all kinds of fights yeah. in a way but for this one it was very specific like nah you, we have to use sage mode and since kuruma was so like you know what since they have an agreement now and they're mm -hmm. working together it yeah. was it was like, all right let's use sage mode too yeah. and bro the the rasengan bro the size of that thing and then bro what, think think about the delivery of the rasengan it wasn't yeah. just like a human rasengan it was karama's other half being like right, combined bro, yeah let yeah. me do some ninjutsu with the homies yeah and then they oh my god I, 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 what was it a tail beast rasengan yeah but it wasn't even tail beast chakra it was just their regular standard chakra yeah but that shit was so big and then Nar that was even before naruto was like oh let me add sage mode to that shit yeah too. bro I, it was crazy and they combined it with the teleporting technique with toby rama alan give me your thoughts on seeing how they executed that rasengan on, on obito bro like because they have such a good teamwork on that as well i mean yeah where literally, he's literally using the um the fourth hokage the second hokage and then probably future hokage <laughs> like i thought that was really cool like how he how he's able to teleport and uh, one thing i also like is like um, people be like, oh, that's my jutsu. And then uh, Toby Ram was like, no, I made that. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, Naruto's like, well, that's you know, about my shadow clones. And Toby's like, bro, oh, I fucking made that. I shit. made that. <laughs> oh, apparently, let's do a count. He made the reanimation technique. He We saw an original jutsu that panda, that, I'm sorry, not panda, that tandem paper bomb. Mm. There's some more paper bombs before they explode. Consecutive paper bombs. The shadow clone jutsu. Oh, let's not forget the flying thunder god technique. Or the flying raijin jutsu. That's yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, craziness, right? And let's talk about one of the instances that round robin technique technique with Naruto and Sasuke combined to their chakra again, right? Mm. The Amaterasu and the Rasen Shuriken and the Hokage is the second and fourth were the ones like, okay, mark each other and when you hit one of us, we'll switch with the other one and boom, mm. able to create this effortless spade and switch with Obito. Because Obito was like, wait, why are you behind me? And next thing you know, he's getting fucking Rasengan in the stomach with the Amaterasu. All, all I'm saying is Naruto got to learn that, bro. He's got to learn how to do that. The Flying Thunder God? Hey, man, that would be sick, bro. But <laughs> it's interesting, though, because we did see some... Um, I brought up Sasuke in this, too, because it's cool because I like... One of the things I did like about this episode was little character interaction dialogue. Yeah. Who would have thought Sasuke would get complimented by the fourth Hokage, right? <laughs> Let them get met each other, right? Yeah. But then you know it's funny because naruto ends up being an idiot but ends up pulling some of the crazy shit this episode too right now on top of that also being a part of the reason why obito almost annihilates the whole uh show me alliance once again six the six crimson barriers right four epic ten tail beast bomb and naruto combining the principles of the shadow clone jutsu with minato's flying thunder god technique with karama ends up saving everyone I thought that was a crazy moment. Let me let me know your thoughts yeah, on using it, implementing. I that thought it was like a like big brain. It was it seems very simple, but like 
but it like the way it was just done it's just beautiful yeah. yeah and it's crazy because it wasn't that was the highest level of that technique but it was shown throughout the episode multiple times right first you saw what was it sasuke and uh naruto using that with the rasengan right them you know well actually not even that when pre uh when before obito got fully controlled remember obito grabbed both in the sasuke and naruto by their faces what the oh yeah with and, that. That, and, and then naruto's smart like oh i remember my dad said if we link our chakras or if i touch them we're good grabs him and then they they get to safety mm. apply that again to everyone in the shinobi alliance but with their chakra jason what were your thoughts bro nah bro that was that was nuts to see i think the way they were able to i guess incorporate the um the combination of both of the you know kuramas and then having to be able to have enough power mm -hmm. to not only protect everyone mm -hmm. and did they also do the attack at the same time no no no. they oh no no, no. i remember i sorry I, I yeah, yeah, over. Yeah, yeah yeah uh yeah so being able to get out of the the force field yeah the barrier the yeah. barrier right that's like big big moves and it's crazy to me that it was naruto that thought of the idea because mm -hmm. While we were watching this episode, it kind of seemed like Naruto was not understanding everything that was going or going on. <laughs> he seemed like, whoa, what the heck? What just happened? And he, I mean, even Sasuke was like, bro, pay attention to the battle. <laughs> so it was cool to see Naruto to have the big, not the big final move, but like the big, big, uh, what the is big it? Idea, big, big idea. Big idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah big the brain big, move, right? big brain move to be able to protect everybody. Yeah. There was no way they were about to escape that easily. Because so. originally you see, you saw Choji then be like, "Oh, he's just gonna protect us with the, you know the freaking you know cloaks." And, but nah, I'm like, bro, like the cloaks won't work. No, yeah. it's this in Cataclysm, yeah. bro. And this is like, remember they said that the Ten Tails, his powers condensed inside Obito, meaning it's even stronger now. Because yeah. Killer B mentions that too. So even then, this is also a post control of the Ten Tails Obito, right? Yeah. He's already protecting himself. There's literally no hope. How do you escape when you're trapped in a barrier stronger than the last one? Right. The big brain move. And what I appreciate about that, it was like, like I said before, it set it up, it's set up so early in the episode, but it also uses the principles of things we've seen before too, right? The Shadow Clones Jutsu, right? How, how again, Lord, honestly, the clutch characters in this was the Lord Second and Lord Fourth and the, you know, Naruto, right? Just because of like the principles of all their Jutsus were used at such max level in mm -hmm. such a different way. And normally with these cases, there's an area we can like, oh, that's that kind of bullshit it's kind of reaching but no they set it up so well where it's like okay because naruto had the chakra in them earlier it didn't go away just like the shadow clone jutsu if you infuse chakra your clones will get infused mm. the alliance is like your clones once minato's connected with everyone karama's connected with everyone karama resyncs and readjusts everyone accordingly boom yep. everyone now has chakra <laughs> we're all linked together now indirectly we out of here bro <laughs> I, I bro like I, honestly can we just talk about appreciate just the, how well written that kind of is because come on we've seen a lot of shows even let's be honest guys the mcu hasn't been known for great for their writing now right come on bro get some naruto riser in that shit make that <laughs> shit better bro because like i i just love the ways that you know talk about it you know going into it but you know that was just some of the things i appreciate about the episode right there but you know the episode ends off with him obito starting the crazy infinite sukiyomi and it's killing everybody it hasn't even started it's killing everybody what were your thoughts on how the episode ended with such despair guys who wants to go first i mean yeah seeing like everyone like basically get all the chakra sucked out like killing them and then we get like a, some lore about where the first chakra f first chakra came from right and it was from this queen i think no the so princess, they, yeah it's the divine tree right there was yeah. a divine tree that was worshipped and during a warring period even before the ones we saw from madara this princess gets this chakra fruit it's forbidden to eat she eats it anyway and single-handedly stops the war because the fruit gives her chakra remember she stops all the wars she ends up having a kid that kid ends up becoming the sage of six path that stops the ten tails later on and this it looks like you know Madara is saying what's happening right now is the divine tree summit and it's now trying to get everyone's chakra that it belonged to it once before yeah and, and then we see that the divine tree about to uh unleash a sukuyomi yeah because so. i thought it was crazy because like you see the ten toes get spurred out again and i was like oh what's happening right now it's <laughs> sorry that it's whatever that eye is it's getting sucked in mm -hmm. and is now repositioned before that also is killing everyone before that jason what were your thoughts on seeing the divine tree yeah man it was uh it was an interesting way for them to bring it all of a sudden because i was like we never really got a story about where this chakra stuff everything is and it was it was cool to see them bring that backstory and to kind of incorporate into the the ten tails and how you know it released the what was it called the tree of the, the, the divine tree divine tree the divine tree and how it's just literally sucking bodies up and 
killing people. They yeah. just they basically just killed all the M NPC characters. Yeah, like, a good, a good like, amount oh, of them. Yeah. All amount. right, they're all you know. Hey, bro, if you didn't have a backstory, goodbye. Yeah, thanks. honestly, if you, <laughs> if you never really got introduced in the in the show or never given a name, then you're you're dead. <laughs> and you know, uh, I feel bad because there's one Italian, one Brooklyn sounding ninja that was. I'm pretty sure he's gone now. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Where's oh. the guy go? <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> But yeah, man, it, it was crazy to see. And, you know, we left off at a part where the infinite Tsukuyome may or may not be officially turned on, I guess. I mean, look, all water says is once that flower blooms and that yeah. and the sharing on or running on reflects on the moon, it, yeah. it, it, the jutsu begins. And honestly, bro, that moon looking real red right now. I'll tell you yeah. that much. Yeah. That should have been red this whole war. The fuck? <laughs> that, that homie's just like itching. It's been, like, it's yeah. been itch. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, bro. I feel like the episode, every episode, the moon just gets bigger and bigger. I mean, it is at nighttime, sure, yeah. but I just like, bro, this is like craziness right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. But nah, man, guys, I what a crazy set of episodes to get through. Um, just, you know, one last couple questions, guys. You know, just sort of ending off, you know, our discussion. What was one of your, just your favorite, we may have talked about it, but I'd like to hear, what was your your favorite moments this episode? Remember, we're talking about epic moments from Obito Kakashi versus, you know, right all the way up to, you know, what's happening right now. Sage mode, tail beast mode, combined with, you know, fa ma father and son, Kurama modes. You know, what was your favorite moment throughout this episode? Give me your thoughts. Um, I like the Kakashi and Obito fight. Mm -hmm. I think that was fantastic. One of the best fights of Hina Naruto. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was great to see that. Nah, for sure, for sure. Got it. Got to be on the list, girl. For mm -hmm. sure, Jason. Mm -hmm. I think it would be Naruto's uh, ability to be able to have big brain attacks mm -hmm. when no one expects. When no one has nothing else planned. When Naruto did the uh, the you know the combination of the Kurumas, the dark Kuruma and the light Kuruma, I yeah. think that was probably my favorite moment. Just yeah. to be able to have that mental knowledge, uh, not mental knowledge, the, I guess the knowledge yeah. to be able to think of something like that and be able to protect everybody that, he, like that's been his whole thing is protect my friends and all that, right? And he was able to do that in that moment. So I yeah. think that was my favorite moment. For me, I mean, you guys took some great moments, but for me, it's sort of an underrated moment. It was whenever we see Sasuke, see how Naruto has those epic moments mm. and just being like, God mm. damn it, bro. What the <laughs> fuck, man? How are you controlling all this trouble? This is you? Motherfucker, this shit's wasted on your ass, bro. One, like, come on, guys. That shit was hilarious, yeah. bro. You not see a bitter ass Sasuke. Like, uh. Ooh, I'm gonna pull on my shoes on right now, though. Ooh, if I can't, I got no nature energy, though. Fuck. Oh, my God. God damn it, how, how strong is this boy gonna get? The fire used to beat his ass in school. How is this happening? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It's just so good just because you see Sasuke every it's, it's not the first time you've seen this too, right? Remember yeah. in the forest of death, not forest of yeah, the forest of death too, right? When he blocked the snake, but also fighting Gara too. Yeah. Sasuke that's the whole reason why he left too. Was he yeah. like, bro, I'm getting weak and he gets stronger. Oh man, I, it's crazy, bro. Because remember, every time we see Sasuke, he's always like, oh, "I got the better." Over, um, right? But yeah, yeah. But nowadays, bro, it looks like it's a little bit different, though, right? It, it's fun. I love seeing how he's surpassing him. Yeah, and then it's funny because Sasuke being during those episodes too is just like, "Come on, Naruto, pay attention, right?" Because yeah, like, the more accomplished ninja, or more ninja-like characters is Sasuke, right? But nah, bro, Naruto still has the big main moments, and even then, even Sasuke is like, "Damn, bro, the fuck." <laughs> I, I love it. Another uh, thing too is actually I love seeing Minato and chakra mode next to naruto because yeah. you normally to, you know it looks like they're the same but really if you look at the details minato's like because he has the dark half of yeah yeah, yeah. His, his he has like almost black flames on the edge of his silhouette right <laughs> his color is a little bit different even his his karama yeah mode, pale beast mode looks different too it's a little bit more darker but naruto's a bit more brighter yeah his outline is like glowing orange too and it, i just love seeing though how they went into the design for these characters i just love seeing it oh also seeing obito not get one but two design up grades in this mm -hmm. episode pretty sick guys that staff that shit looks so clean bro <laughs> with the black orb you know he looking divine in that gym, bro. You, you best believe oh, it but as soon as gosh. i saw him go from like oh he got them jogger them big ass black jogger shorts to getting a full coat i was like oh it's over <laughs> this shit over guys you oh, got that coat bro you and pimping activity you know, bro <laughs> bro it's crazy but uh, yeah guys do you have any more thoughts on this week's episode no nah, man Damn, guys, if you don't, I don't know if you believe me, but this episode will only get crazier next week. So Damn. stay tuned for Never Bored with Naruto Shipping with the boys here. Guys, give the video a like, subscribe. What was your guys' favorite moment on this, this week's episode? And also, do you have any comments or versus matches you guys want us to talk about? Because we love talking about them and love giving this content for you guys and sharing our reaction and doing you know all this for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a like and subscribe. I'm your host, Rose, and my co-host here. Alan. Jason. Y'all have a good one. Peace.